The spirit of darkness leaves God in Genesis 1-2 and is cast to the earth or it is separated from the light. It's understandably hard to grasp exactly why God created evil in the first place, but we must have faith in his plan. Where does faith come from? Faith comes from hearing and hearing comes from the word of God. Everything we need is right there in the Bible. You just have to read it. You just have to study. Nothing should happen except to be revealed to the saints first. And this Holy Spirit has shown his children from the very beginning. God created evil to give us a choice. Because without the opposite of love available to examine and choose, how could we know we were choosing using our free will as opposed to just a lack of options? Newton taught us that force comes in pairs. This is a large part of God's story. He created evil knowing it would be used against his flesh and cause many to perish. He created hate so that we would fully know the power of love. I form the light and create the darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. It's Isaiah 45, 7 and Proverbs 16, 4. There is a war for your soul. That's a, those are two Bible references, but the truth is there's a, there's a war for your soul. The devil seeks who he may destroy. Satan's looking for souls who have no issue serving darkness or are either unable to rightly divide the truth. So I think that that's interesting. There's two ways to get you. There's people who serve evil willingly and there's people who don't even know what they're doing. And I don't, it doesn't matter to the devil who he takes. It just matters that they're taken. Satan wanders here and there. Unlike God, Satan is not omnipresent. His spirit roams around, but it's not at all places at once. Evil dwells only where it is allowed. Satan answers to God. When Satan wanted to tempt Job, he had to ask God's permission. And when death gripped Jesus on the cross, Jesus took death with him before our father. Not even a bird dies without our Father in heaven being hand, having a hand in it. And all things work together for good. For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through and for him. Colossians 1.16 All who believe in love's perfect will shall be saved. Some will be called the least in the kingdom of heaven, and some will be called the most. All who love are called. As you look at Satan's first attempt to destroy God's creation, let's be sure we understand something before moving forward. Do you know what the sin was in the garden? Gaining knowledge? Lying? Sex? Was it just trickery? Mm. Let's take a look, because I don't think it was any of those. The sin in the garden, the original sin, is lack of faith. The serpent didn't lie to the woman. He questioned her faith in, she, in what she had been told. Genesis 3.1 says, Did God say you could eat of every tree in the garden? Genesis 3.4.5 Surely you will not die. God knows if you eat of the fruit, you will become like God's. Woman doubted God's word. The spirit of evil only had to twist the truth a little. Adam and Eve were told by God that they would die if they ate of the fruit of the tree of good and evil. She wrongly discerned that God meant the fruit would kill them. Satan showed them the fruit, the knowledge of good and evil, would not kill them, and they doubted God telling them otherwise. Satan did not lie. He did not force. He wasn't sneaky. And God allowed them to doubt because it's part of his plan. Satan mixed up what was true, the fruit would kill, wouldn't kill them, with the truth, Partaking against God will cause, God's will causes death. Evil still does this. Man and woman did not perish forever as Satan expected. Instead, they were given what we experience as life, while the spirit of man died. Adam and Eve were born and coated in the flesh. They wore their sin as their covering. We must study and read this for ourselves. Deceiving spirits are betting that we won't. So, next thing we're going to take a look at darkness in the garden. We're going to look at the serpent in the garden and see what that's about.